This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The ability to move and copy objects with ease is why CAD replaced board drafting years ago. These tasks are not easy to do on the drawing board, but they are in AutoCAD. Move and copy work the same way, but with two differences. The copy command leaves the original object alone and repeats itself. To move an object, start the move command. It's found right here in the ribbon. Now select the object you want to move. Press enter. Pick your base point, which can be anywhere you want, and now move it. It's that simple. The object is moved. When moving or copying an object, you need a base reference point and then a displacement point. The base point is the place where you grab the object from. It could be a point on the object or any other point in the drawing. Just pick one. If it doesn't really matter, then you can pick anywhere. You can type in M for move or the word move to start the move command. Select your object or objects. Press enter. Now specify your base point. If I want a node point on this text, I can select it with my O snaps. If I want the insertion point of the text, I can do that with my O snaps. Now I can move this text around based on the insertion point of the text, and I can place it anywhere. I can snap it right to the midpoint of this wall. I can put it underneath. I can put it anywhere. Just use your O snaps like you would when drawing a line. The copy command works the same way when selecting and placing objects. To start the copy command, just type in copy or type in CP for copy. It's also found right here on the ribbon. Select your objects just as you would with the move command. Press enter. Pick your base point, and now pick your displacement point. I'm using the near O snap so that I can get this outlet right on the wall. And as you can see, one major difference between the copy command and the move command is that I'm still in it. I can place as many copies of this object as I want. It will keep going until I hit the enter key or the escape key to cancel the command. It also leaves the original where it was because we're not moving it. Most of the time you will move or copy objects from a point on the object, but that's not always true though. If you take a look at this blocks and tables example file, I'll show you a case where we might want to move and or copy an object from a point off of the object. In the top left hand corner of our plan here of this building, we have two windows. I can move this window by picking this object. And now I have a displacement point that has been kept. Or I can move the object by selecting an endpoint on the line work and snapping to any other place that I would like. If I undo these, put it back to its original position. And let's say I want to add another window. I will use the copy command. Select the window, press enter, get my base point, and now my point of displacement, which will be the end of this window. Press enter, and I've added another window to this wall that has the same distance of separation from it to this window as do these two windows. I didn't have to measure anything. I didn't have to calculate the distance. I just kept it the same. And that's by using the base point and the displacement point. I can do the same thing with the move command. I can pick this point and then move it to this point. I can pick an object with the move command and select a displacement point far away from it like the end point of this wall, and now move it down 
here. Now it doesn't make any sense to put a window here, but you see the point. I can pick it from anywhere and I can move it to anywhere. Now the ortho command works the same way with the move and copy as it does with the line. It will keep the displacement horizontal or vertical. And I can type in a displacement distance. I just move this window up by two feet. And I can do the same thing here with the copy command. I can pick any arbitrary point and I can move it down two feet. So now this window is two feet from this window, meaning the start point of this window is two feet from the start point of this window. Our point of selection our point of displacement. So there are a lot of ways to move and copy your drawing objects in AutoCAD.